Let's talk about D4231 because it is quickly becoming the best formation in FC24. It is so well rounded and balanced and using these custom tactics it takes this formation to another level. Before we get to the custom tactics don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more FC24 content and let me know in the comments which formation I should try next. Starting up with the defensive style you want to keep this on balance. I've tested out the other defensive styles in this game and really none of them work as well as balance with bring that down slightly to 40 and that bring this up to 65 anywhere between 65 to 71 is about good just don't bring this into 72 because once you reach 72 your players will automatically press and perform an offside trap automatically which may sound good but you will quickly find out it may be too aggressive for your play style so 65 is what i recommend but if you want to bring it up a little bit higher to 71 that would also work build a play on balanced i have been playing around with other build a plays like fast build a play but balance is by far the best in the game chance creation on direct pass if you don't know what direct pass does basically direct pass pushes your players forward and forces your opponent's players to drop back that will then give you a lot more freedom while on the ball while in your opponent's half and i'll show you in the player instructions how we make the most out of direct pass with leave this on 50 players in the box six is about good i wouldn't bring it up any higher than six corners and free kicks now the way to make the most out of corners is by having this on one and playing it out short i get at least one goal every single game from playing the corners out short and then playing it to the edge of the box when you play the corners to the edge of the box and you have your corner set all the way to one you'll find you'll have an abundance of players waiting at the edge of the box and this is just like a refresh you have your opponent's team exactly where you want them when you play a regular corner when you're just swinging across there's a huge chance that you're going to give away the ball and your opponent will counter attack when playing it out short you're eliminating any risk and like i said there's a huge chance that you'll get a goal especially if you have a player at the edge of the box with the finesse play style plus that's the perfect position for them to make the most out of that play style so moving on to the player instructions your left and right back we're gonna have them set to stay back while attacking and overlap I know some people don't like stay back while attacking but it is by far the best player instruction to have on your left and right back and this is why so if you set your left and right back to balance or join attack they'll be up and down the line all game even when you're two goals up and you don't need to be as attacking you don't want your left and right back going up and down the pitch constantly you want them staying back and of course you're not going to pause the game or reset your tactics to stay back while attacking there is a much easier way if you hit up and then left on the d-pad that will tell your left and right back to join attack and it overrides your player instructions so this is a much more effective way to get your left and right back to attack but not get them to commit all game to attacking i would say play the first 20 minutes without this on and then after 20 minutes turn it on and off as you need it once you go up by two or three goals there's no need to have this on anymore and eliminate the risk of conceding any goals by turning this off just remember to turn it off and don't leave it on all game moving on to your cdms make sure to have one cdm as cut off pass lanes stay back while attacking core center and deep line playmaker you want to have a more defensive cdm in this position and what i always say is ignore their defensive stats and look more towards their defensive play styles look i have goreska and havertz and even though havertz has higher defending stats goreska has that intercept plus which i find is the best play style for a cdm in this game so if you can get a player with intercept plus for this position you are golden and for your other cdm you want to have him on stay back while attacking cover center and deep low and playmaker and if this is too attacking for you you can change him to stay back while attacking i definitely recommend having two setups of this formation and have both cdm set to stay back while attacking for when you're leading but if you want to be a little bit more attacking have him set to balance and don't use really a very defensive player in this position look more towards their attacking stats i have havertz in this position and he's the perfect example of a player you want in this position because he does have incredible defensive stats but his attacking stats really are what you're looking at especially when you're looking at play styles he has technical dribbling he has finesse shot he is really the perfect cdm 
in the game for this position. And also important to note, because you have both CDM set to deep blowing playmaker, you'll always find one around the halfway line available for a pass. So when you're trying to create and you might hit a wall and you'll find there's nowhere else to go, always give it back to the CDM because they'll probably be unmarked and available for the pass. And it's just a good chance for you to reset and try to attack again. Moving on to your left and right cam. Now these are not going to be centre attacking midfielders, they're actually going to play like wingers. Don't do what I've done here and have Pele and Puskas in these positions. Don't put strikers in there. I've done that because what am I going to do, drop Pele and Puskas? I just make it work. But I recommend using wingers in these positions and not strikers like I have here. And definitely don't put centre attacking mids in these positions because they are going to play more like wingers. So you want to have one set to come back on the fence and drift wide and the other set to just come back on the fence. For your central cam, leave him completely on default. This will be your more creative cam. So if you have someone with inside so plus, that would be perfect for this position. I've Odegaard in here and he is incredible, but there are some cheaper options out there. And your striker, have him on stay forward, stay central and get in behind. And because we have our chance creation on, direct pass you'll find getting behind will really help push your opponent's defense back but that is everything you need to know don't forget to let me know in the comments if you tried these tactics let me know how you got on